Hi, I'm Eric, one of the founders of TrackJS, and this is the Building Request Metrics video series. If you haven't seen episode zero yet, I recommend watching that first just to get a look at what we're doing and why. A quick note about these videos. They may not be as polished as some software videos you're used to seeing. The idea here was to show people the unvarnished, unfiltered look at how we build software from the ground up. That means that we're recording ourselves learning along the way, making mistakes, screwing up, and endlessly Googling for solutions. So bear with us as we do this, but hopefully the videos are entertaining and you will get a very real look at how software is made. As far as episode one goes, we're starting at the beginning. We're C-sharp people and we've all developed with .NET for years. However, none of us have used .NET Core. And since that's the new technology of choice, we wanted to build a .NET Core project for this. So follow along as we create a brand new GitHub repo for our code. And then we hopefully successfully make a .NET Core solution and commit it. It doesn't sound like much, but every journey starts somewhere, right? What the fuck is this? <laughs> What are, All we, right. what are we doing today? Um, well, I think our first step here is we need to create an empty um, Visual Studio project and stick it in Git. Yes. And so this is going to be actually starting our application from like file new project. Okay. So first step though, it's probably easier maybe to create the initial project repository and then clone that and then put all of our stuff in it. I agree. I agree. So here we are. If only because you need to know less Git that way. I know. I let GitHub <laughs> do the thinking for you. And the less you know about Git, the better. Do you want me to call it request metrics like this or like that server? Or what do you guys think? Um, I feel like the name just request metrics is a little. Uh, we call it like dot, not obvious. Dot net maybe? Well, that might not be smart either. Well, if we call it request metrics server. Just like that? Just like that. Okay. I guess it's all sort of, well, no, yeah. All right, um, let's see, should we do, should we do a dot net? Do we have, do they have a, no? Well, that's not very useful. Does it start with a D, like D-O-T mm, net? Let's see, hmm, no. Is it Microsoft? Thanks a lot. Yeah, this is literally a Microsoft product. They, they own this product. Okay. Uh, well, uh, oh, Visual Studio. There's a C Sharp It's a Visual Studio. Studio. Yeah, let's do that. All right. All right. Do you want to initialize the readme? Yeah, I like to. All right, let's see what our Git Ignore looks like. I'm actually kind of excited here. All right, Git Ignore, what do you got? Oh. Those are things we that, want to ignore. That does look right. Oh, this is actually, oh, it's. It's thorough. It's, it's very, very, very thorough. This is every oh. weird piece of shit thing that Visual yeah. Studio. Because oh, some of this stuff, you really should not be using a lot of this stuff, actually. Well, this is really a lot. Well, we'll, well see. We'll, we'll see. Start. <laughs> we'll start. <laughs> let's not let's not optimize it until oh, we run into something. My, that is very impressive. Okay. Um, so I'm in my home request metrics folder, uh, which is where everything lives. Uh, that didn't, didn't work. Uh, I have not been having the most good luck with the copy paste. Okay. All right. Now I should be able to go in here. There we go. Okay. And if I look, we've got the README. And then there's the git ignore who's hidden. So that's great. Okay. Now I think we should we create the C sharp stuff. Yeah. What? So, what version of uh, Visual Studio are you rocking here? Okay. So, this is going to be hot off the presses. Uh, so, I guess technically this is sixteen point four point two, um, and you and you actually, it's worth noting you want to have a pretty recent version of twenty nineteen if you're going to do .NET Core three one because that just came out in December of twenty nineteen, um, and it actually post dates the Visual Studio twenty nineteen launch. So, uh, we definitely want to make sure it's up to date. Uh, okay. So, we're going to do new project. Uh, and we're going to call this, uh, or actually, do we want to make the, the, um, the class library first or the ASP.NET web app first? Maybe the web app. 
Um, so when I was looking at this earlier, I saw two different kinds of web apps. I saw the ASP.NET Core web app and the MVC web app. Oh. Which kind do we want to do? Now this one claims you can use it with Linux, Mac OS using .NET Core, web apps with Razor, Pages, MVC, or SP. This is the See, kitchen we want. sink we want. of projects. All right, we so it's all things. Sink. Okay, well, let's and, create and a kitchen guys, sink. You guys know that. So, so let's let never come to bite us in the butt. <laughs> so let's... So we're gonna put this guy in the request metrics server. Yeah. Do we put now? So we're creating the project. Is the project just in the root, or do we put That's it in some sort of folder? A very good. So I was kind of thinking we should have a different like solution name to the project name, and then we yeah. The solution the, name should probably be project or a request you know, metrics metric server. server. Yeah. Yep. And then this guy could be like request metrics. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> see. That, uh, is that, okay, what if I go back in here? Okay, what if, well now it looks like it's the dirty check empty, his work. Right? So yeah, that's, uh, uh, Microsoft, something you could fix. Okay, so this looks like it'll be okay. So we should get a solution in the top level directory and then request metrics.web should be its own project folder. Is that what we think will happen? I hope so. <laughs> I, I'm intrigued, I bet it's just gonna be a level inside. Oh, that's right, okay, so here we go, here's step Ah, uh, here's where, all right, it's just a multiple level option. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so here's I, where so we can here's, select MVC. This is really what we want, right? I think, I for think your, so. okay, I did it, it's too late now, we can't undo it. <laughs> okay, interesting, I'm gonna move this, move you guys over here. Okay, so see if it works? Yeah, yeah. let's run her. Oh, baby, you can do it. Build succeeded. All right, we're done, boys. Um, oh, do you guys want to commit it real quick? Yeah, let's commit let's it and uh, make sure. It. Yeah, I'd like to pull it down on my map. Oh yeah, we and, should totally do see that. If that works. Okay, so what did we get here? Oh, we've got a lot of oh, just a few things. A don't lot worry. of things here. Let's. Oh, bootstrap. Oh no, we have to check in bootstrap. Oh, we're not gonna do that. Oh, hey, we, oh, there's more there's some of stuff. this than jQuery validation. That's, prob that's probably that standard little page. They couldn't be bothered to actually just write CSS for their example page by itself. They wanted to give you Bootstrap. Okay, so, so we can just delete it. Will real? I think so. Do we do we want to delete all this stuff? You have Favicon too. What is that? I mean, that's not a terribly useful Favicon. No, no punt it. He's gone, okay, we've got a home controller. He's, oh no. They have, logger. they have their own DI now, like their own official IOC dependency injection framework. And I, apparently now they're just gonna force you to use this. Uh, well, we'll cross. We don't, I mean, we can still just do it our own way. We don't have to use it, should do we? we? I mean, should we delete all these things? I think we should leave the controllers in place okay. just so we have a starting place so that we don't have to like look up syntax okay. and stuff. Okay, yeah, that's, I like that. That's very uh, Okay. Um, you, you need a render body to, in there. Do you, do, you want, do you want me to do that? Well, I well, mean. Other, otherwise it otherwise it's not very work. interesting layout, right? <laughs> Do stuff here. Okay, so I think now we can commit probably. Oh, what all that means eventually. <sighs> oh my. How did oh. we delete it? Uh, because I had accidentally saved it. Oh, you added it. All. it. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we've got now. Okay, this is a much more manageable <laughs> list. Oh, so this feels good. This, I, so feel, like, I feel okay this? about that. Yeah, if they've done this, I, I would know. Mm. They have an empty one, right? I mean, they do have an empty one, so maybe we should have done that. But... Mm. Um, okay, so let's be uh, hello world. Okay. So and we're going to bring it down onto a Mac client and see if it'll run with Visual Studio. So I'm going to go out to GitHub uh, slash request metrics. What are we cool. doing? There. Oh, there we go. Request metrics server. I see it all there, so we're gonna pull. That's the little guy that we want right there. And I'm gonna open up my terminal. Make that plenty big. Mm. 
All right, so I want to go to there, and we're going to do get clone. And I think I can just call it that. Oh. That's so fast. All right, CD request yeah. metric server. There it is. Okay, what do we think? Is this going to work? All right, let's now open up Visual Studio. So I downloaded uh, Visual Studio here for Mac 2019. Oh, man. Uh, I'm rocking a little different version than you are. Apparently, he the does. versions <laughs> don't align. <laughs> oh, yeah, because this, this used to be Xamarin Studio, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it looks quite a bit different. But let's open this up. And uh, mine's out in code, request metric server, source. There we go. Man, big money, no whammies. Could not restore packages. Oh, that's we're off to a good start. Hmm. Getting restore information for project, blah, 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 blah. No, is that, did we ignore The a... current .NET SDK does not support targeting .NET Core 3.1. Yeah. Seems right. SDK or ASP Core runtime. Oh, I'd probably do the full thing. I think. Um, oh, there it is. Yep, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, yep, open anyway. Open anyway. Yep. That's what I want. Okay. Yep. The Miami state over here in Mac OS land. Try and open that up again. Oh. Woo! It, it just ran it. So, so the moral of the story here is you may, even with the latest Visual Studio for Mac, you may still need to download <laughs> the .NET Core 3.1 installer. In, indeed. So let's, uh, let's run this and make sure it builds properly. This is disorienting. It's like wildly different. It is I know it is so different. different. I didn't know that, uh, well, something's happening. Okay. So we've got the debug panel up. I don't know which, it's, it's some weird port. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it oh, is. Look at that. Right. I am impressed that that worked, to be honest. 